we did say we were gonna vlog today, so I'm going to, I guess, do a lateral video, or not a lateral landscape. But anyways, as you guys can see, we're at the gym right now, pulling up. I'm tired of not making these games because we gonna roll to the stage you feel me straight bodybuilding anyways got a little bit of a leg workout to record for you guys and i'll see you guys soon all right so we about to get into the meat potato meat and potatoes of this leg workout you feel me the young squats cannot go wrong with them it may not look like it but i actually go full range of motion as to grass the reason why it's gonna look like parallel is because when you have the heels up you get a weird kind of angle that goes with it. But if you can tell, you know what I'm saying? Full range of motion every single rep. Because we cannot miss out on these gains, you feel me? But back to the topic, road to this stage. I'm honestly pretty excited because I'm gonna enter a space in which I can challenge myself in a way that I never have. You know, never done bodybuilding in my life. 20, ugh, 21 years of age. Gonna be 22 when I compete. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it. Right now, I'm still trying to debate on exactly what I'm going to compete in. I don't know if I'm gonna do the shorts or if I'm gonna do the speedos. But y'all see the three plates as to grass for a set of five. I was like, damn. You're getting stronger. But, yeah, I'm really trying to, you know what I'm saying, embrace the Tom Platt's philosophy. Because if I can bring my legs up, because right now that's my weakest bike, but if I can bring my legs up, it's wraps. But we move into some overhead press afterwards. I just couldn't just, it was right there. I was like, fuck. Today's going to be PR day because <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit strong, even though I felt kind of weak. I was like, but I know I'm stronger. So, you know, it's for a plate. I believe I did this for about eight. I could do more, but I didn't want to tax myself because next up is where you guys are going to see the PR. But a plate for eight, not too bad. I think my record is like 15 of it. <clears throat> 185 on the bar. We well, was just pushing. One, two, okay. Three, wait a minute. How is this possible? Four. Five. And pretty much that's kind of my body weight right now. I just got up to like 185, but we finished that because we want some big boulder shoulders. Then we moved on to the hamstring curls because if I'm being real, I do not train hamstrings nearly as much as I should. Of course, I do deadlifts. I got a pretty nice deadlifts, but I do lots of Romanians, all that good stuff. But I was like, I need that isolation work. And honestly, I forgot how terrible sore hamstrings feels because if y'all know y'all would know that when you lift your legs up bro you cannot feel anything you're like damn why do my legs feel so heavy like gravity tripled but then we moved on to full range of motion leg press that was different because it literally reached the bottom i was like oh my god like knees covering nipples like it was crazy but Ugh. Man. I never do this exercise. Right now, this set, I believe, is three plates. My legs are already fried. Because I was just, oh, man. I was just going. I was going ham. Like, the hamstrings took away so much of my strength. It was not okay. Not okay at all. Gonna transition into four plates. Yeah, you guys can see the depth right there. I'm like, fuck, and I'm just struggling. Basically screaming internally. And I'm like, damn, this shit's not okay. I do not know what to do. But anyway, you guys can see the rest for yourselves. I'm pretty sure I didn't record much after this. That wasn't the whole leg workout, obviously, but. Yeah, it was um, pretty interesting. What's going on with y'all? We heading back home right now from the gym. Workout was kind of simple. 
I didn't record calves. I probably should have, but you know, it just kind of is what it is. Anyways, <clears throat> I guess I'll do a little bit of talking before I get home. But basically, I'm trying to experiment with daily vlogs. I feel like I've been really slacking a little bit. And I'm like, okay, let me just put my feet down and just get to work. Because I feel like I'm not doing anything when I'm not doing anything. Because I'm not doing anything. And I don't like that feeling. So I was like, okay, let's just do something. And right now I'm trying to juggle, I guess everything. Because I know my Instagram content and TikTok content is a bit different from my YouTube content. So trying to, I guess, get footage for each of those is it's a little different. But now we're gonna talk about the um, plans, plans for this year. Getting into it, you feel me? But as you guys know, not sure if I said it in the beginning of the video, but we plan, I plan to compete the end of this year, I want to say around October, November-ish, in a bodybuilding comp. Because I kind of, I guess you could say I have a sponsor, or at least a competition. So I'm like, all right, bet. That's a say less. I'll get on stage. And it's crazy, because like I can see my weak points so clearly. I just know exactly what I'm gonna have to do in order to get to a, I guess, decent placing, you know? Like right now, biggest weakness by far, legs, 100%. Got the strength, but the size and definition, lackluster, at least compared, definitely compared to how I want them to work. But to be fair, I don't really, or I hadn't really trained with, I guess, crazy volume on me for a minute, so I'm like, okay, let me just lock in real quick, start pumping this volume, start straight suffering, you know? so I'm trying to do whatever it takes so I can actually place well, and actually be like, okay, I did everything I could have in the, I guess, time frame that I gave myself to at least be decent. Now, the cut's going to be crazy, but right now we're on the bulk. And we're sitting at about a good 185, I believe, 185 right now. Between 182 and 185, that's where we're sitting. Feeling like a little bit of a beefcake, you feel me? And we are putting the ego basically at the door. Leaving that shit, because we want motherfucking gains around here, you feel me? Straight gains. Like, I'm doing more time under tension less weight because I'm making sure my form is just crazy, just consistent, nice, clean, and then on top of that, we are, uh, what was I about to say, Lord have mercy, my on and off, I'm going to get a little bit hungry, because the amount of calories that we've expended is on. Um, Yeah, I'm losing track of thought, so I'm gonna just get back to the main thing. Aside from the fact that we're competing this year, which I'm looking forward to. But on top of that, I kind of wanna, you know what I'm saying, experiment with awakening my inner genius, showing you guys the power of jumping in the fire. Because I came to a realization that whenever I jump in the fire, I never really get burnt. I get like forged if that makes any sense like with the photography event i'm not sure if you guys seen the last vlog but if you did you'd know that uh we did some professional photography and y'all ain't hear this from me but um i literally pulled up to that event with three days of experience and the pictures i took were phenomenal because i was literally training exception art and i was under the guidance of my boy geo you feel me giovanni chavez the man the legend the best videographer in a 
Hands down. Like, I haven't come across anyone better. And he only gets better. Like, it's crazy. But he put me under an immense amount of pressure. And I didn't break from it. I just got molded by it. And made leaps and bounds of progress. Mind you, it was not easy at all. But, like, the results kind of speak for themselves. Like, it was crazy. I was like, oh, my God. I had no anxiety. I never really have anxiety anymore. And he was like, yeah, if you fuck this up, bro, I will never be able to work again. He was trying to just say shit, just kind of get in my head. But it kind of just bounced off of me. Because, like, really, I just I just knew I was going to do well. Like, I had no doubt. No self-doubt at all. I was like, I'm going to at least take some decent pictures. Some really good pictures. At least a few. And I ended up doing way better than uh, his last partner at the same kind of event. And I was like, okay. Rap skis, you feel me? It's just raps at that point. But I want to utilize that principle to the best of my ability. Keep diving in the fire so I can become the blade that no one's ever seen me. No one passed this guy over you for me. If I figured out a name, bro, oh my god. That would be insane. I'd get it tatted across my chest. If I figured out just some fire name. For a blade, it would just be crazy. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. We uh, are almost home. I'm probably gonna, I guess, talk a little bit. Eat while talking. I see eat much, much. Probably not gonna show any of the cooking. That's not exactly necessary. But anyways, I'll see y'all. The house, you feel me? I ain't gonna hold. I forgot I was supposed to be filming this landscape the entire time. I was like, like right at the end when I cut the what's it called with the whole forehead thing. I was like, yo, I have not been filming landscape this entire time. But we still go crazy regardless. But anyways, yeah, we pulling up to the house. I'll see you on the side. I ain't gonna hold. I uh, didn't record myself eating. I was kind of out of it, but I just woke up. It's about 7 p.m. and I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I forgot to get the last clip to go with it. And honestly, early today, I forgot what I was even gonna talk about. But you know what I'm saying? We gonna get into the groove of this whole vlogging pretty often kind of thing getting a bit more comfortable with who I am probably a lot more comfortable because honestly I I don't be having too much fun or I didn't have too much fun getting in front of the camera speaking to y'all I guess expressing myself but the plan for other vlogs future vlogs what are you missing or mixing in I guess a little bit more of my daily routine as opposed to what I do after I'm done filming and things like that. Obviously that's gonna be filmed. But I think they're just doing like just some crazy shit and just learning skills at lightning speed. It just sounds fun to me. And just to show you guys that there are ways to do things that you probably never even cared to realize. Like Immersion is probably the most powerful technique for rapid skill acquisition that I've ever come across. I'm pretty sure I said in the photography event, or photography vlog, whatever it's called. I don't know, but uh, it's just gonna be my life, man. This is basically just a journal for me at this point. I don't, I don't really care for much else. I know that, I know what I know what's in store for me in a way. Like I have an idea. Now I'm gonna be doing some great things. Teaching people some great things. But anyways, appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm saying 185, you feel me? Got the baby arms a little bit. I'm trying to get the molders and shit, but the yeah, comp is about to be amazing. I'm actually very excited for that. I just hope I can 
get myself into the craziest shape possible. Full muscle bellies, like all that, you feel me? But anyways, I hope you have a blessed day. And I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow, I guess.